Hello, it's Roland Kernerbone. I'm the coordinator of the Injured Workers Supports Network and for week two, we have two more questions popular this week. For further information, www.iwsn.org.au or contact us between 12.30 and 4.30 business days on 02 9749 7566. So the two questions for this week is number one, if I get the sack, what entitlements do I receive? So it's unfortunate and wrong that being injured means you may lose your job for no other reason but the fact that your employer doesn't want you there anymore. Um, we're fighting against it, so join in. We need to make sure that injured workers throughout New South Wales and indeed throughout Australia and the world don't have to suffer being fired just because their workplace was unsafe. But if it does unfortunately happen, what entitlements do you receive? So the big three are long service leave, your annual leave and your sick leave. Now long service leave depends on whether you've been there for long enough. Annual leave depends on whether you actually have any more annual leave left. A lot of injured workers use their annual leave before the workers claim comes up and is approved so they might not have it and your sick leave. Remember, even if you have a workers' comp claim, if you're still on the books with your employer, you're still accumulating long service leave, annual leave and sick leave. But you need to check with your award and your enterprise agreement. Main reason is some awards and enterprise agreements won't include sick leave, though they will include long service and annual leave. So that's the big thing. Some awards and enterprise agreements will have further entitlements. Um, might be four weeks, might be six weeks, might be 26 weeks, depending on the award. So best to check with your union if you're with the union, um, or get a hold of your enterprise agreement and have a read of that. Not all employers will be forthright about what you should be entitled to, and not all insurers will let you know that you are actually entitled to that. So you need to inform yourself. So that's if you get the sack, what entitlements do you receive? The second question is along the same veins, unfortunately, and which is what's the difference between medical retirement and section 248 dismissal? So a section 248 dismissal is in the workers' compensation legislation. It, it's not worded as dismissal, it's worded in this way, that your employer has to provide you suitable duties for six months. And that means if they're not providing you suitable duties after six months, they can say goodbye to you, they can give you the boot. It's unfortunately very common in workers' compensation matters. Now, they don't actually have to prove that you don't have, they don't have suitable duties. They just have to say they have suitable duties. It's completely and utterly unfair. Now, Safe Work Australia have return to work coordinators there and inspectors, so they can actually go to your workplace and double check but there's not a huge amount of power that they have to enforce it. They can try and convince the employer that there are suitable duties there. And certainly your insurer should be doing everything they can do to make sure there are suitable duties there. And your rehab officer, a rehab provider should be doing that as well. Doesn't happen a lot, unfortunately. It's a very large hole in the system. But the diff that's a section 248. So a section 248 is under workers' compensation. You should receive a letter if it's under section 248 saying there are no longer suitable duties for you. If it says anything else, that might stray into industrial law, not workers' comp law. And medical retirement is industrial law, it's not workers' comp law. You can't get fired under workers' comp law. You can't get medically retired under workers' compensation legislation. It just doesn't exist. So it's industrial. And basically what medical retirement is, is your employer saying you are no longer fit to carry out the duties in which you are hired to do. And it's industrial, which means you have a right to go to the Industrial Court, Fair Work Australia or the Industrial Relations Commission of New South Wales if you're under an award or an enterprise agreement. Enterprise agreement, Fair Work Australia, award, generally New South Wales Industrial Courts. To prove unfair dismissal. It's also a longer process. They have to get medical records. They'll usually send you to another independent medical examiner, although they don't call it that, they're their own medical doctors, and they need to do tests. Some, do you get anything more for the medical retirement? Sometimes you do, most of the time you don't. Just your old entitlements if you were to get the sack normally. Um, sometimes it can be beneficial to be medically retired. If you're going through superannuation, medical retirement will assist with that. It's not the best of worlds, truth be told. 
but there might be that. In other circumstances, it's not so good to be medically retired. If you're a public servant, it'll mean that you won't be able to go back to the public service unless you can prove that you're fit and capable and you might be denied some jobs into the future if you are medically retired. But again, best people to speak to about this is your union. They have the industrial knowledge, they have the industrial legislation, and it is an industrial matter. It is not workers' compensation. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, um, just email us at help at injuredworkerssupports.org.au Go online, www.iwsn.org.au, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, give us a call, 12.30 to 4.30 if you have any questions, 9749 7566, or you can leave a comment below. Thank you very much.